Hello everyone, this is just uh, testing. We're gonna test today a uh, review for uh, assembly class, assembly language programming. Hopefully this will be good and we'll see from there. Okay, first of all, what's assembly programming language? Uh, you, you've all of, must have heard of C, C++ at least, Java, Python, all of those. All of those, let's look at the big picture. High level languages, which are C, C++, Java, Python, and so on. All, all common languages. We have on a lower level, we have assembly, language assembly language then we have on a lower level also what's called machine code or machine language this is the big picture a prerequisite for this class is taking either C++ or C I don't know some schools might might give Java but Let's see the differences between those. Assembly language, by definition, it's a low-level programming language. What do I mean by a low-level programming language? It's lower than want this to look like high. Those are high level programming languages. And low and high refers to the abstract. How abstract the language is. Usually high level languages what? Well, are more abstract or less abstract? What's the meaning of abstract? Abstract is hiding the details of something. And this is a really good concept in computer science. It's used a lot. Abstract, you're gonna hear it a lot in computer science. Hiding the t details, for example, if you're a, uh, you don't need to be a mechanic to drive a car. You don't need to be a programmer to work on a computer. Anybody can work on a computer. That's what hiding the details. For example, when you open Internet Explorer, do you know what's happening on the back? No, they're hiding the details. All you know is what? That you have to press on the Internet Explorer button twice, or depending on how you have it set by uh, the mouse. So, high, high abstraction. Lots of details are hidden. Here, low. Low refers to the abstraction. Not that much details are hidden. It's closer to usually to the hardware, we say. Here's the hardware. Not that much. Uh, the relation between assembly language and machine code. Machine code is what? Zero and one. Binary machine language that's the only thing is one to one meaning direct translation any instruction here is mapped directly to zero and one in machine language the relation between high level languages and assembly language is one to many meaning one instruction in high level languages can be translated to what? One or more, or many uh, instructions in assembly language. Low level, programming language, relationship, and what do we have? Abstraction. Every high level language is translated. Two assembly language using what 
what we call a compiler. A compiler is a translator. Translates high level languages, which what? Have lots of details hidden in the back. Why do they have lots of details hidden? Making it more user friendly. Making it uh, easy to use. Near English, near the syntax of English. Assembly language, no, it's near the machine language, the instruction of the language. Uh, here, there's, there's so many compilers, different kinds of compilers, cross compilers, all of that, and there's what's called interpretation. It's how the high level language is translated to assembly language using an interrupter. But we don't need to worry about that in this class. Uh, you'll, t uh, you'll know about that later in. in maybe if you take the compiler class. From assembly language is translated to machine code using an assembler. What's called an assembler. And also there's different kinds of assembler. We're not gonna go through that. Also in this step if you know happens the linter where it links the libraries that include you'll find them in C and C++ code. So this is high level language translated by a compiler to assembly language. Assembly language then translated to machine language. The relation high level languages are near English, close to English. One instruction in high level language can be translated to one or many. That's where the detail the details or the abstractions, the abstraction. One to many. And from assembly to machine code or machine language is one to one, a regular mapping. Not that much of translation, it's just uh, uh, using the instruction set. Low level language, it uses mnemonics or symbols to represent what? Well, the instruction set. For example, I can have add, move, sub, load, all of those. Those are the instruction set of the uh, language. I like to think of an instruction set of a language as the vocab of the machine, or the instructions that the machine that machine can understand. And each machine understands, uh, depending on the architecture, it understands a number of instructions. And any program, any program you write, what is it? It's a set of instructions, a sequence of instructions. That's the, the program. Uh, instructions for what? What am I given instruction for? It's the CPU. The programmer is given instructions to the CPU. Those in assembly language, low level language, that uses mnemonics or symbols to represent the instruction set architecture or the instructions. This is why it's called sometimes a uh, symbolic language. Uh, add, move. We use uh, uh, mnemonics because it's easier to remember and it's easier to deal with less. Assembly is usually faster. It's simple but it's more uh, difficult to program in because of the abstraction. High level languages are <coughs> usually near English. The, it's good to learn assembly, really good I think. Some schools even don't teach it. I give you lots of programs on it. I want you to program more than to know the theoretical part because of first, you'll, get, you'll be better in in C or high level languages. Uh, two, some errors are, let's say, hard to debug in high level languages. It's easier for you to know in low level language like assembly or to find the error. And it's, it's faster as a process here. The assembler here, compilation. Compilation is a really huge uh, process. It's uh, a whole class. You can take it in a whole class. What happens in, in, 
in, in between those. Uh, there's different, uh, you might find different assembly code out there. An add instruction might have come with two operands, with sometimes with three operands. Operand meaning those. We're going to talk in this class about massive, uh, which uses for an add two, two operands. So don't be confused if you de see different uh, codes for assembly language. Don't think it's like C or C++, you're going to find the same code. Uh, if you uh, go into Google and try to find some codes. But please remember this big picture. One more thing to know about assembly. Is assembly po po portable? Meaning uh, portable, if I take the code on another uh, machine, will it execute? No, depending on the architecture. Remember, each machine has an instruction set architecture, and assembly language uses those sets of architecture. So assembly language is not portable. High-level languages, are they portable? Yes, because we have the compilation process. Um, Java is, uh, here's what I say. I'll, I'll, I'll say Java is fully portable. C and C++ are not fully, it depends sometimes on the architecture and the compiler. Uh, uh, people say they're, they consider it as, as a portable language, C, C++, and Java. This is the differences between uh, high-level languages and low-level languages. Uh, uh, most of the stuff we'll be talking about in this semester will be focused on only assembly language. And we'll see after this, at the end of this class, if this improved your C++ programming or not. Thank you, Goal, and we'll come next with another review.